We are well able. And then they came back and said, they are giants. They are giants. And we are as grasshoppers. I thought it was because of the fact that they, you could just step on a grasshopper and crush it. But that's not true. Because grasshoppers hop along, all right? And if it sees you coming, it's going to hop along. So why did they pick grasshoppers? And brought back the word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Now, who is this talking about? It's talking about everybody, especially the spies. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them. That's your bread, right? And, brought, and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told them, and said, We came unto the land where thou sentest us, and surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. You've got fruit, but you don't want to do it. I'll be honest with you. I am not talented. My cousin Crystal, they always told me my cousin Crystal is the one that's talented and creative. I'm not creative. That's not me. I was always told that. Always told that. Don't try. You are not creative, Jamie. Just stick with what God gave you to do. You are not creative. Lois told me that all the time. And then I start doing art. And she gets in contact with me. She said, oh yeah, I'm doing art too. I'm doing these things too. Well, she's very, uh, very, very good at what she does. But growing up, she always told me, no, 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 Jamie, don't do arts. You're not good at that. Stick with what God gave you to do. Stick with God. You're not good at that. But Crystal is that she's doing excellent. She's a teacher, right? But I've got the fruit. God allows me to bring forth fruit. I'm sure she would love to sit down and just sew clothes. She makes clothes. But I got fruit. I got the gallery, right? I got the chamber of commerce. I have fruit. These people brought fruit to them. And while they were eating the fruit, they said, no, don't fight them. Ah, uh, don't eat, don't fight them. No, it's a good apple. Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fight them. We can do it. We're not capable. Cain said, we are able. They said, we saw giants in the land. Cain said, we are able. Caleb never, you never mentioned your enemy. Caleb, Caleb never said anything about the enemy or how he looked. Or how they looked. Caleb just said, we are able. Then he came back and said, did you hear us? We saw giants. Sons of Anak, we saw giants. Giants, 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 giants. And then they said, we were as grasshoppers in our own eyes. And then we saw ourselves, we saw ourselves in their eyes. And we were grasshoppers as well. If you were grasshoppers, then why are they threatened by you? If you were grasshoppers, then why are they building a wall against you? If you were grasshoppers, then why won't they come and fight you and attack you to make sure you don't come back in their place? Because I promise you, these people were reckless. And here's the thing, they're squatting. Squatting rec reckless people. Today on Mori. They were, they were squatters. The Canaanites were living in a place that did not belong to them. And if you ask me the truth, I think the reason why they did not go after um, the Israelites is because of the fact they knew it. They knew that those were the Israelites, somehow they figured it out, and they knew that the land didn't belong to them. They knew the Israelites were coming, that they were coming to take back their land. So they did something smart. Instead of going and approaching the Israelites, they started building walls. They started doing things to keep the Israelites out. We will not have them coming in scouting us again. I'm a spy or nothing. We will do something to keep them out. Now, if they did not, if they thought you were powerful, right, and did and were not afraid of you, they would not have built a wall to keep you out. They would have stomped you out. Rather me, rather than go through um, a place where I'm affected or uh, have to fear. And get up, wake up in the morning fearing what's going to happen next day. I take care of what I'm fearing. Prime example. If I, have to, if I know that I have a high bill, high electric bill, I just go and pay it. Or do what I've got to do. I gotta, uh, okay. Set up a payment plan. Just pay it. Just take care of it. Rather having it than having it come back to haunt you. Because every day, when, even when I had that, that, I thought it was a $260 bill and it turned out to be a $45 bill, every morning when I woke up, that, 40, that $260 bill kept repeating to me, repeating to me. Every morning when I woke up, you got a bill. But I was so angry because I was like, how, how did I spend $260 worth of electricity? So I started turning every light off. I wouldn't use anything because I felt like I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was obese in electricity. 
What am I doing in here that would use that much electricity? Most things that I plug in are charged by USB and I use them. My phone and my little speaker thing. What, what do I do? But instead of it haunting me, I called the electric company. Come find out it's $45. It was easy, right? So thank you guys for living, for taking me on Easy Street. Easy Street. Because it could have been $260. It could have been that. And I guarantee you, the Canaanites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Jabathites, the all the lights, the Lilithites, the If they was really, if they were not afraid of you, they would have attacked you then. But it said they built up a wall around them. They made a mouse hole. You may be a grasshopper, but they made a mouse hole for themselves and went inside the wall. That's what they did. That's what mice do. Mice run. They make a mouse hole for themselves and run inside the wall. So you can't catch them. You can't catch me! Your enemy is on the ground, Genesis chapter 3, and you're running from him. There's one thing God told you to flee. Sexual immorality. Everything else, stomp his head out. I mean, stomp his head right out. Take out his neck. He tried to kill me. Through Lois tried to kill me. Do you think the, 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 the enemy wanted me to be able to walk around and say and as a testimony that I am walking around with a severed spine? Like my head is severed from my spine and I'm walking around with that and I've had no treatment for it. So I just get to snap my neck in the place every morning. I've had no treatment. But I've got God. So now I've got a testimony. Oh yeah, my head is severed from my spine. I'm decapitated, but I'm walking around decapitated as a human. What you got? When people tell me what they go through, uh-uh, what you got? I've been through this and I still trust God. Because God, st God is still more than able. And God, because God is able, you are more than able. Man, I can't remember, ain't nothing you can't do. How come? Amber said she's going to make some stuff for the gallery. I told Harmony too. You talented, what are you doing? Why y'all sitting there? Y'all should be here, not me. So y'all give God some glory. Hallelujah! Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for, for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Let's skip all of the instruments. I probably shouldn't, but let everything that has breath. I love that David started off in Psalm 1. There's six verses, and three of them were about praise, and three of them were about looking at his enemy and talking about what his enemy is doing. When David ended the Psalm 150, it was a bunch of verses, right? But at the end of it, what did he say? He didn't say, my enemy is doing this, my enemy is doing that. Oh my Lord, I feel this way, I feel that way. Blah, 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 blah. Word, 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 word. Mouth, my mouth, talk, talk, talk. That's me and Samuel thing. That's what I hear when people talk. I tell them that too. I tell people that. When you talk, I hear. Because that's what I hear. David, David started off by talking about what his enemy was doing. That sounds like to me. But what did David end talking about? I was wrong. I thought it was six. Praise you, Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise Him in the front of, of His power. Oh God. Oh God. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the salt tree and heart. Praise Him. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Why are y'all repeating this giants? Why aren't you repeating? Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. This is how he ended it. Because he was split in the first chapter, wasn't he? Three and three. But at Psalm 150, he stopped caring about his enemies. Don't even mention them. Because that's what they want. They want mentioned. They were honorable. They don't care. They, the, the enemy wants honorable mention in your head. That's what he wants. He wants honorable mention in your head. He don't need first and second prophecy. If you get a mention in your head, he's in your head. But, but, but David said, Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry heart. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him 
upon the loud sound of cymbal. Praise him upon the house sound of cymbal. Let everything, let everything, oh, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Now, my Paul wasn't that far off, right? Didn't he? Because 1 Thessalonians, we talk about it. 1 Thessalonians, he said, In everything, hallelujah, in everything, not just in some stuff, but in everything, but everything I go through. I say, because of his Melanie, I say, it's for everything, with everything, in everything, about all about everything. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk to you about it. Tell you, because when I I talk to my friends about the stuff that's going on in my life. I'm seeking my friends about a situation and a solution and for a solution that only God can give me. I don't about when you seek people that can get only can give you resolutions about a situation where you need a solution. See, a solution is different than a resolution because a solution handles it. A resolution you have to keep going, doing and doing and doing and doing. It does not fix it. So when I seek human people for a solution, I get a resolution. And so I have to keep working at it and working at it and working at it and working at it. I end up in works mentality for everything. Thing. When I go to God and I just pray for my God, He works on it. He is the solution. He is the solution. He is uh, the solution. He will fix it. What are you repeating to yourself? What are you talking about over and over again? You spell about giants, about the sons of Anak. The giants, the sons of Anak. Giants, the sons of Anak. They know who they are. Why are you don't go repeat their name to them over and over again? Why am I telling you? How about they say the name of your God? There is giants and annex over there. The giants and annex, right? Bye-bye. But annex got a nasty back. Hallelujah. And I got a nasty back. I got a, a guy with a beautiful front. Hallelujah. My God is great to me and greatly to be praised. Oh, glory, glory to his name. God is great. And greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great. God is great. God is great. God is great. God is great, God is great, God is great, God is great, bless the Lord, oh my soul, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, them annex with the nasty backs, <laughs> them annex with the nasty back, they incestuous, ain't they? Because here's the thing, here's the thing, why do I say they incestuous? Because when you talk about someone, I don't go, I don't talk about Isaac. And say, um, I'm talking about Isaac, but never say Isaac's name. I say Abraham or Isaac. In other words, I don't go, I don't mention Isaac, right? And, and as, a, as a product of Abraham. I'll say, oh yeah, that was, a, that was Abraham's son. What I'm saying, Abraham's son, Isaac. Oh yeah, that was Isaac's sons. Esau and Jacob. Would you must understand? Even if I, because if I did, if I said Isaac's son, Talk about Esau and Jacob. I would I would deny um um, um the, the Israel when he was given the name Israel. He was given the name Prince and he told he has power with God. When he had twelve sons that eventually became the twelve tribes of Jacob or the twelve tribes of Israel, right? Uh, I would deny what that person does if I don't mention them, right? So if I say you know the sons of Anak, okay, Anak had the nasty back. I don't have to say that because I'm wrong. I don't know if Anak had nasty back. He probably did. But anyway, I say because wrong. But uh, and I don't say when I talk about when I think about sons of Anak, right? I would say their names. Otherwise, I illegitimatize them, if God is saying to me right now. I illegitimatize them in that they were giants, but they did not do anything. I take their works from them. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great and greatly to be praised. Ain't he? Glory, glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. God, we praise you. Hallelujah. We don't think about we don't think about the giants in our lives. We don't need to. 
Because we got a great God. He's a great God. Great God. That's what we repeat over and over again. But that's get the spots got up and said, yeah, they're giants. So it's anti giants. And then when, they, when the people weren't really going for it, they said we were as grasshoppers in our eyes and we were as grasshoppers in their eyes. When we looked at them, we were as grasshoppers in their eyes as well. First of all, spies, there's something wrong with your eyes, you got ice in your eyes, right? But how were you able to see how you look in their eyes? You know I was going there. Because why else would I talk about the moat? in that person's eye they the, the person that has the moat in their eye right looks at the person that has the splinter while they're trying to take it out and they want to take it out of their eyes because oh you can't see there's something in your eyes you are worried about everybody else's eyes and what they see that's why you try to convince me that that pastor is bad you want me to see him the way you do because you've chosen to see him that way and you make it look like you're trying to take the splinter out of my eye but what you're actually trying to do is put a moat in, in my eye as well so I can look like you Y'all got that? In other words, there's no way for me to know. Truly, like truly, I believe, honestly, I don't believe. Hmm, it's hard for me. But I believe that Pastor David and Miss Andrea really care about me. And they see me, they, they care about me. Like It's not like they see me like there were people in my last church, they saw me and thought demon. I don't think Pastor David and Miss Andrea think that way. But to be honest with you, and actually I'm, I'm, I'm convinced, 100% convinced that they don't see me that way. That's why I trust them. Like I trust them completely. I'm, my trust is not in them, but I trust them completely. I think that what they, the, they put forward when they say about me is what they actually think at that time. Even if it's not good, I trust them. Why? Because I believe that they're telling me the truth, not their truth. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. My truth, my truth, my truth. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Your truth leads you to tell me that I am a bad person or what I do is terrible because of what's going on with you at that time. I've had a couple of friends do that to me. Even my art. I get take this. I don't want this anymore. I don't like this. It's not even my style. I don't like your art. I don't like what you're doing. I've had multiple people in my church do that to me. And since I didn't have money, that was the only way I could give them gifts. So it came from my heart, but they didn't like it. So they gave it back. My truth, my truth, my truth. I said, now my, my, all my art, all those pieces are priced astronomical. It's ridiculous. Inside Chamber of Commerce, astronomical. That's a year worth of rent to me. One of them is a year worth of rent. Easy. Because what I have, to, what I'm doing is what has value. What I'm doing has worth, right? Because uh, I have people that believe in me, right? Like my pastor and his wife. And if I got two, and I said that, I said all I need is one person to believe in me. All I need is that. I need one human person to believe in me. I know I was called God. I was like, I got you guys. I know I got the three. I know they're pleased. I was like, and I asked the two of them. I was like, I asked, Miss Andrew, I was like, are you proud? I was like, I need to hear you guys say you're proud of me. Because I know, Lois never did that. She's like, yes, we're proud, right? And so we had a conversation about it. But here's the thing, right? It, uh, I know, I know that they're proud of me. And I know, right, God is pleased with me. I know that they're proud. I was asking them, I don't want God to be proud, and I don't want them to be pleased. I want God to be pleased, and I want, I want them to be proud. And they are, I know. But there's no way, even though they told me that, and I know they tell the truth, and they're honest with me, there's no way for me to know exactly what they're thinking. Y'all know it's going somewhere. There's no way I can tell exactly what they're thinking. So I have an odd, 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 I sit odd with that. Every time I hear the story of Joshua, I'm waiting for somebody to address that. They said we were as grasshoppers in our eyes. Comma. We were also as grasshoppers in their eyes. How do you know what their eyes have in them? You are telling me you are as grasshoppers in their eyes. How do you know what's inside of their eyes? How do you know what they're doing? Right? How do you know what they're thinking? What's inside of your eyes. You have to protect your eyes. But you have to protect your eyes from yourself. And for yourself. 
You make sure you see what God is saying to see, right? And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come from the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, comma, and so we were in their sight. A lie. I said, what are the, what are the preachers going to stand up and address that lie? My truth, my truth, my truth. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. If I went to my pastor and said, I'm, I don't feel good and I think I look ugly in the dress. And Miss Carol, I think, uh, Miss Carol thinks I look ugly in the dress too. He's going to look at me like I'm crazy. How do you know Miss Carol thinks? Did you ask her? No. Did she tell you? Well, no. Then how do you know she thinks? You psychic. Get... You be hanging out with Dion the Warwicks? Her and her Warwicks? You hang out with her? How do you know, how do you know what, what, what Miss Carol thinks? How will you assign to me a thought? They said we were as grasshoppers in our eyes, and, and we were as grasshoppers, grasshoppers in their eyes. Do you know what happened when they did that? So what does Matthew 17, 20 say? And it's in the, I know it's in the middle of a statement, but the, that's the way Matthew chose to do it. Because of your faith, for if you had faith the size of mustard seed, faith works both ways. They had faith. You know why I know they had faith? Because they saw themselves as grasshoppers. If you have faith the size of mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, be thou removed and cast to the sea. I cannot cast any mountain to the sea unless I could see it. Right, I have to see the mountain and cast it. If I'm pointing at a mountain, talking to it, or I'm thinking of pointing at a mountain, talking to it, and I end up talking to a tree, I'm casting the wrong thing. Right, mountain, I'm calling the tree a mountain. The mountain, the tree will not move. Right, because I can't see. Right, the thing is, they could not see. They were spies. They went and scouts, and they came out spies, and they could not see. How do you know what I am thinking? How do you know what I'm thinking? We were grasshoppers in our own eyes. And so, basically saying, comma, and so means, and as a result, we were grasshoppers in their eyes. What they're saying is, we are grasshoppers in our own eyes. As a result, we are grasshoppers in their eyes. How do you know? Even if you see yourselves as grasshoppers, how do you know that they are seeing grasshoppers when they look at you? I will tell you this much. I will tell you this much. They were correct. Because when you see yourself as a grasshopper, you become what? A grasshopper. When I see myself as an artist, I become what? I become in uh, the Chamber of Commerce. That's bonkers. And I'll tell you this much. And um, even Amber said she saw them too. Those two men, and the, uh, two men, a guy and his son or something, came in and they started looking at a couple of pieces of the art. And I was working on hanging them up, but I was tired. And so they were working on hanging them up and they came in and looked. Uh, I ended up putting the piece that was in the museum with my head on it. I call it the face. I end up putting the face inside the gallery instead of putting, a, instead of putting a collage in there because the collage just is not ready. So I put the um, face inside the, um, in the gallery or inside the Chamber of Commerce. He, they walked in and they were like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. He was like, I really like that one there. It was the face and I really like that one there. I turned around and looked at him and he looked at me. He was like, oh. <laughs> and so they got this stuff together. It was like, it was like, was like yeah, we really like this. I don't know the construction workers. I don't know who they were. But it was like, we really like that one. Hmm. Do I see myself as a ragamuffin? Absolutely. The problem is, I'm a liar. Because I don't even know what a ragamuffin looks like. Is it a muffin that's raggedy? A ragamuffin? A ra the, 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 the thing is about ragamuffins, when I say ragamuffin, the, if it's a muffin that's raggedy, the person that's calling you a ragamuffin is raggedy as well. Why? Because they lay over the sea and they're a liar. They not even, they're lazy. They don't even have enough time to say raggedy muffin. So they say ragamuffin, right? They're not even going to take the time to say raggedy muffin when they describe you. They truncate the word that they insult you with and then you pick it up. Because I've always been called a ragamuffin. You pick it up and you take it. No, I'm an artist. I'm not a raggedy muffin. I'm an artist, and God has blessed me, right, to, to produce more than muffins. I serve the God that's great, to the hand greatly to be praised. I'm waiting for a preacher to get up and, I mean, wear that part out. We were as grasshoppers in our eyes, so we were as grasshoppers, and so. It just says it, we were as grasshoppers in our eyes, comma, 
And so we were as grasshoppers in their eyes. We were as grasshoppers in our own eyes, comma, we were as grasshoppers, and so we were grasshoppers in their eyes. You will always be in your eyes first, and whatever you are in your eyes, you will be in their eyes. Do you know who, who, who you serve? Names of God, Elohim, Adonai, El Elyon, El Shaddai, Yahweh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rafi, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Mekadesh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Sid Kanu, Jehovah Roha, and Jehovah Shama, the God. That's more than enough. You worship that God. He's got all those names. Hallelujah. You need to find out what he calls you. You find out what he calls you. He calls you able. Let's start there. He calls you joyful. Let's go there. He calls you peaceful. He calls you patient, enduring, long suffering. Long suffering is not a bad thing. Long suffering means I suffer long. I, I know. I deal with that. I'm always sick. Something. Something's always bad. But I, I've, I've got so used to suffering that when things are not bad, I'm looking around the world like, what's going on? I'm, I've got so used to suffering. I've got. To, I'm learning. I, I'm learning how to deal with it. Like I've always had a smile on my face. I don't know anything but suffering. So when I'm not suffering, I'm like, okay, something's up. Hallelujah. What does God call you? He calls you great. He calls you greater. Because you, he gives scripture greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. But he also gives scripture greater is work shall I do. So I become greater, right? Because I got greater inside of me. I become greater. God's able, so I'm able. God can, so I can. Hallelujah. He left us his divinity to because he was a deity. And proof of it is I got artwork that people are enjoying and I, I don't have any qualifications to do that. I just picked up, God said, get a, I saw it in Michael's when I was walking in there with Harmony. We were going for something else. And I saw it in Michael's and God said, pick that clay up and get it. It was $10, so I got it. And that's how that's the whole clay thing started. I started playing with clay and now it's being displayed and now it's being shown. And God good. Because you're somebody that has no talent. I don't have talent. People going to school. I don't have talent. I, mean, I didn't go to school for this. I don't have talent. I don't know what I'm doing. But because I said the God that's great and able, he makes me able to do exceedingly abundantly above. Hallelujah to God. Stop calling yourself a grasshopper. As you see yourself, so will you be. I'm an artist. Right? Of supernatural Mastery. Why? Because I don't know what I'm doing. So this was a gift that God gave me. I'm a poet with supernatural mastery. Why? Because I don't. I'm not. I, I don't. I'm, I don't know anything about poetry. I'm not good at English, right? I was always a math head. I hate English. I don't read because I don't want to. I just don't. I don't do that. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care. <laughs> just I, I, don't. I read the Bible. That's it. I don't read nothing. But God works with it, right? And because he works with it, he gave me the ability to do things that I should not be able to do. I wonder what he calls you. I wonder if you could text me or let me know what he calls you and what you're doing about it. Does he call you a musical? Does he call you a worship? Does he call you a thanksgiving? Does he call you praise is your weapon? Does he call you bye -bye? your knees? What does he call you? What does he call you? God bless you.